These patch notes are not going to be... I, I've looked at them. I'm not going to lie. I've looked at them and I've thought about them and I've discussed them and I have thoughts. I have thoughts. I have feelings. And I, I'm excited to share those with you, okay? So we just saw the AWC play out. We saw some classes do extremely well. We didn't see some classes or some specs at all. Okay. So with that in mind, let's take a look at these changes. I'm going to pause my music really fast. Uh, let's see what they say. We've closely monitored data on class performance and feedback from players. We'll schedule weekly maintenance uh, in each region. We'll make the following adjustments to classes that are over and underperforming and group and PvP. Okay. So let's go. Uh, Avengers Demon Hunter Sigil of Silence duration reduced to four seconds was five seconds. Sigil of Silence cooldown increased to 90 seconds was six seconds. 60 seconds. Cycle of Binding now reduces... Okay, this don't really matter. Okay. Balanced Druid two-piece and four set was buffed. Now, this is significant. Although the buffs are only half as good as you would think because they're all nerfed in PvE by uh, 50%, right? So... Right now, you know, the bonus damage, for example, on Starshers is uh, only 20%. Now it's going to be 30%. And I'm not going to lie. Boomkins, I don't think, really need buffs. Now, there are some changes to compensate them, but from the people I've talked to, they really don't think that the PvP changes really offset these. So slight Boomkin buffs in terms of their tier. Uh, Brewmaster got some changes. I don't think it's really going to affect PvP. Uh, assassination rogue ability and auto attack damage is increased but it is not carrying over to pvp so i guess they think that assassination does enough damage and they fixed an issue that caused the assassination rogue season three season four bonus to slightly less do slightly less damage than intended okay great now here's some of the juicy ones affliction warlock doom blossom damage increased by 10 percent. keep these in mind okay i want you to keep these in mind doom blossom damage increased a vile taint damage increased Soul Flame damage increased and Soul Rot damage increased. Now, these are not that significant, but changes are coming, my friends. Uh, destruction, Chaos Bolt damage increased by 3%. Conflagrate damage uh, increased by 5%. Incinerate damage increased by 5%. And honestly, I, I think Desert Warlocks right now are pretty good in Shuff, but uh, you definitely feel them missing out on their 2-set and 4-set, so I don't, I don't really mind these changes. I think they're fine. Um, th this is where things start getting a little spicy, okay? Uh, Fury Warrior, all ability damage increased by 3%. So Fury got an all-around 3% damage buff, and uh, their two-set bonus got buffed as well. Rampage damage and crit chance was increased, or was increased by 15%, was 12. So a little buff there. Um, Bloodthirst bonus damage increased by 35% per stack, was 30. So a little bit of buff to their tier, nothing too crazy. Don't care about prot. We'll move to PvP. Okay. Now I was thinking if they do make changes, like what's going to get buffed and what's going to get nerfed. And I will say before I read these, some of these are a big surprise. I think that there's a few specs that should have probably gotten nerfs and didn't. And I also think there's a few specs that probably should have gotten buffs that didn't. Okay. But overall, I, I'm, I'm happy with the changes. Some of them don't make a, a ton of sense to me. And I'll tell you the ones that don't make a ton of sense to me as we go. Okay. So Death Knight, Frost. Okay, so Frost like damage was increased. And I think this is totally fine. I played Frost DK. Buffing Frost Drake makes a lot of sense to me. And buffing Frost Fever also makes a lot of sense to me. It doesn't necessarily increase their one shot. It gives them a little bit more consistent damage. I think these are totally fine. And Holy Death Knight got damage buffs. And people were already kind of like iffy about unholy damage. I think it's quite high right now. Um, one, one thing that I will say is it seems to me that some classes like unholy, I mean, you guys could think I'm totally wrong about this. I don't really think damage is the issue, but it's getting a damage increase. So some of the other issues not being addressed, but it is getting more damage. So death coil damage is going up, festering wound damage is going up and frost fever damage is going up. So just more damage. Uh, balanced druids, this is how they compensated. They nerfed moonkin aura. So moonkin aura star surge. A Moonkin Aura Star Surge now grants 2% increased spell critical strike chance per stack was 4. Okay. Um, people have told me that they think the tier buff is better than this nerf. So going to uh, the tomorrow's changes, balance will be better. Uh, Evoker, Preservation, Time of Need, Healing reduced by 25% in PvP combat. To me, this is... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is extremely negligible. Like, doesn't matter almost at all. Um, Hunter, this is a... Big change. Rapid fire damage is increased. 
by 45% was 30. So rapid fire got buffed. And this seems to be like the main theme of Mark's Hunters. Like Mark's Hunters just keep getting buffed in rapid fire and keep getting buffed in aim shot. And I know if you're a hunter, you're probably very excited about this. And I know sniper shot got toned down a little bit, but not that much. Like the sniper shot being toned down isn't as big as these guys getting buffed. So I think hunters will end up doing more damage. And as a mage player, that already scares the shit of me. Okay. It already scares the sheesh out of me. Okay. Uh, so yeah, hunters, I think are going to kill clothies even harder, but once again, like watching the AWC this weekend, it doesn't feel to me that hunters problem is damage. That's what I think. Marksmanship hunter, their problem isn't damage. So giving them more damage, I don't know. They're getting it, but yeah. Um, Monk, Mistweaver, Cloud of Focus, increased healing and reduces mana cost by 20% per stack in PvP combat was 15. So a little bit of Mistweaver buffs, not Fistweaver, Mistweaver. Paladin, Word of Glory healing increased by 15% in PvP combat. So Word of Glory got uh, a little bit of an increase. Good for Holy Paladins. I think they needed it. We, I don't think we saw a single Holy Paladin in the AWC. Um, Priest, Discipline, Atonement healing increased by 11% in PvP combat. That seems big. Powered Radiance healing increased by 10% and Shadowward Pain and Purge the Wicked damage increased by 15%. Like, I, I just... I, I don't know how I feel about Disc. Like these, these changes seem nice and Disc is already doing extremely well in solo shuffle right now with some of the changes going into the season. Is this enough to actually make them like viable in threes and people will start playing them? Uh, Big Vakov Dan says they really want Disc to be the pre-spec this season. Maybe, maybe they just want all the healers to be viable. Just buff everything. Uh, for Holy, the Spirit of the Redeemer now reduces the duration of Spirit of the Redemption by nine seconds was eight. Okay, so their angel form lasts a little bit less and their mana regeneration is slightly worse. So yeah, they're, they're turning down, uh, tuning down some of the efficiency of Holy Priest. Um, they didn't do anything to Resto Druid, so Resto Druids are still going to be drinking simulators and Evokers um, still, I, I think, will be very strong. And then uh, I'm going to skip these Rogue ones really quick. We'll come back, but Resto Shaman also got a buff, so... This was a big surprise to me that Resto Shaman got a buff. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think this is trying to compensate for the fact that their tier is worse. Like their tier was better in season three than season four. So I think they're trying to give them a little bit of a buff and compensation for the fact that their tier doesn't do anything. Um, and Enhancement Shaman is getting a little bit of a heal increase. And I, I don't really know. I don't, I, is Enhancement Shaman's problem the fact that they don't heal enough? I don't really like when enhancement shamans are just immortal. I don't I don't really know. I just I, I don't know how much I want enhancement shamans to just spam heal themselves and I don't know if being able to heal more is really going to address the, some of the issues that they have. Anywho, uh let's look at rogue. So rogue kingsbane instant damage was reduced. Kingsbane got nerfed. Uh kingsbane damage over time is reduced. So that got further reduced. Um, oh wait, the damage over time. So they actually buff the damage over time, but they nerf the instant damage. Okay, so I think that's a decent change. Improved growth damage now reduced by 20% was 30%. So improved growth damage now reduced to 20% in PvP combat was 30%. So improved growth damage now reduced to 20% in PvP combat was 30%. So what is it? Is that a buff to growth? I'm trying to understand. I don't know. Why is that hard for me to understand? Is that a buff? It's a 10% nerf. Okay. Okay. So Guru got nerfed by 10%. Now, Assassination Rogues, I actually don't think, outside of like their Kingsbane one shot, I actually didn't really think that they were OP. I think it's a buff. I, I think it's actually a buff. Yeah, the reduction is less, which is a buff. Sorry for the confusion. People in my chat. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, the improved road damage got buffed, Kingsbane damage got buffed, and then uh, they just nerfed the one-shot. So, never mind. I think the changes to Assassination Rogue are fine. Axton's now saying it's a nerf. I feel really fucking confused. Improved Garot damage bonus now reduced to 20% in PvP combat was 30%. The bonus was reduced, meaning it does less damage. Okay. So they nerfed Improved Garot, 
They buffed the dot on Kingsbane and they nerfed the one shot on Kingsbane. I don't know why that's so hard to understand. I mean, everyone in the chat is confused as well. Okay. But what I was going to say is I actually thought Rogues were in a pretty good spot. Outside of their one shot, I, if this was just the change, this, I would be fine. I don't know if I like this. I don't think this was needed, personally. And I, I think there's already some, some, some specs, like some classes that are doing significantly more damage than Assassination Rogue. Okay. I already think there's some classes that are doing significantly more damage than Assassination Rogues. Um, I'm not going to name them, but yep. This is another one, weird one for Outlaw Rogues. I don't know if you guys watch the AWC. Now, I have a hard time feeling bad for Outlaw Rogues, but the thing that's OP about Outlaw Rogue isn't their damage, and their damage got nerfed. So Between the Eyes, damage is no longer increased in combat. So Between the Eyes got nerfed, and then Ace Up Your Sleeve uh, also got nerfed. So it's like... I don't think the problem for me with Outlaw was its damage. Its damage doesn't seem that crazy. I think some of the other things about Outlaw are too good, but it's surprising that this is the route that they decided to go with to nerf them. Um, so, yeah. Rogue nerfs kind of all around here. Uh, Shaman enhancement, like I said, they got a little bit of a healing change. Resto got a little bit of a buff. And then uh, we've got Warlock Affliction. Uh, Oblivion damage got increased. Drain Soul damage got increased. Shadowbolt damage got increased. And these are not uh, trivial buffs. Like these are pretty big. And Agony damage uh, got nerfed. So Agony had a 40% damage buff and now it's 25. So it seems like they want to buff the single target damage of Affliction give it a little bit more finishing power while reducing its rot. Now, how much rot did they really lose? We'll have to wait and see, because I feel like their rot is still going to be really good, and now they just have even more damage. And Affliction Warlock doesn't need more damage. I really don't know. I I wonder, I kind of wonder if they had just, I was talking to Super Tease about this, and uh, he was saying that like, what they should have done is just buff the execute of Drain Soul. So if you actually rot someone down low and you're draining them in the execute range, it's way scarier. And I think that would actually be probably a, a good change, but that's not the direction they decided to go with. Um, and then Demonology got a Shadow Bolt buff, which... All right. Demonology's getting Shadow Bolt buffs. <laughs> Great. Before I see any Demonology Warlocks, uh, you know, complain... That Shadow Bolt got buffed. You'll notice there's no mage changes. None. There's no buff to fire, no changes to arcane, no changes to frost. Now, I'm not saying that there should be, but there's just not, okay? Um, and then a warrior. Arms. The arms season for two piece and four piece class set bonuses are no longer reduced in PvP. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Um, and then for Fury Warriors, Rampage damage is now increased by 50% in PvP combat, was 40. Raging Blow damage is now increased by 30%, was 15. So Raging Blow got buffed, Rampage got buffed, and Execute got buffed. And, okay, and, 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 all ability damage is increased, and their two-piece and four-set got buffed. So... If Fury isn't good now or viable, it's never going to be viable, okay? Like, it's gotten a lot of buffs. Aff nerfs are wild to me. You think this is a nerf to Affliction? <clears throat> of course it's a nerf. I don't even know if I agree with that. It's like, I guess they're losing Agony, but they should have more finishing power. I mean, you could even potentially play like Shadow Bolt procs. Like, I don't know... I know, I know Smexen was messing around with like actual, actually using Shadow Bolt procs. It could do big damn now. That's hard to know. But uh, yeah. Anyways, Affliction changes coming in. Uh, we'll see if it makes them better or makes them worse. I really don't know. I honestly have no hope for Affliction. Affliction is like a spec that's like semi-decent sometimes, but just the way it's built and how you can just dispel so much of its damage... I don't really have any hope for it, to be honest with you. But we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. Um, some crazy ones to me, I'm, I'm going to be honest, the, the, the ones that got away with it all. Balance Druid's not getting any changes. That's something. Demon Hunter's not getting any changes. That's something. Windwalker Monks, 
not getting any changes. That's something like, I think if, if I read here that Windwalker tier got nerfed, I would be like, you know what? As a Windwalker enjoyer, I get it. Sucks, but I get it, you know? But, uh, yeah. Anywho, I guess uh, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. I don't know how much this is really going to change, you know, the meta and what we saw in the AWC, but it is interesting to say the least.